Hi, this is Jim Clary. Welcome to airmodtraining.com. In this video, one of our associates, Sarah, will answer the question, what is the airmod modeling system? For you beginners, just beginning your road, your travel down the um, airmod uh, road, this will be a good road map for you. It'll show you the programs that are to be used, as well as how they all fit together. For you experienced modelers, hopefully it'll just be a review of what you already know, but you may be able to see it in a concise way that is difficult to find on the internet. It's important to notice also that all the software that Sarah will be talking about are EPA programs that are readily available on EPA's website. So, without further ado, I'll turn it over to Sarah and enjoy the show. I'm Sarah with airmodtraining.com. Today I'm going to answer the question, what is the AirMod modeling system? EPA's AirMod modeling system is comprised of a dispersion model named AirMod and its associated pre and post processors. The AirMod dispersion model is EPA's preferred refined dispersion model for most short range applications in all types of terrain and for applications involving building downwash. The meteorological data files required to run AirMod are generated by AirMet, which is the meteorological data preprocessor. AirMet requires upper air and hourly surface meteorological data. Typically, if the hourly surface data is obtained from the National Weather Service, air minute is used to calculate the hourly wind speed and direction from one minute meteorological data. AirMet also requires surface characteristics describing the land use surrounding the site. Air surface is used to calculate these inputs from the United States Geological Survey, or USGS, National Land Cover Data Files. And that's it for the meteorological data processing. Now we'll move on to the receptors. The receptor elevations and hill height scales are generated by AirMap, which is the terrain preprocessor. You have the option to define receptor locations in AirMap, but we suggest creating a receptor network outside of AirMap. To remove the complexity of creating a receptor network, we created a program called AirGrid that you can use to generate a receptor network. And you can download this program from airmodtraining.com. Next, AirMap will determine the elevation and hill height scale for each receptor based on USGS digital terrain data. The last preprocessor deals with building downwash. BPIP Prime is used to calculate the downwash inputs for each point source based on the layout of nearby buildings. At this point, we've gone over all the preprocessors and you should have all the data needed to set up and run AirMod. And after you run AirMod, you can use AirPlot to generate contours of the modeled results that can be seen in Google Earth. Now you can see the complete flow of the AirMod modeling system. If you run into a problem with any part of your AirMod modeling project, we offer online AirMod training help that you can purchase from airmodtraining.com. During our session, you'll be able to ask us any question related to your AirMod modeling project. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, AirMod Training, so you'll be notified when we upload any new videos. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.